Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Cobalt Core, the fresh roguelike deck builder that I'm very excited to be back to here today. Going back in on hardest mode, of course, but swapping off the Tide Runner. I'll say thankfully that it just melts my mind. Uh, to the Gemini, we haven't used it in quite a while. And speaking of haven't used it in quite a while, apparently this combo is in desperate need of some love. We have four wins as Perry and Max, which is crazy because Books also has four wins and we didn't unlock her that long ago. Uh, gonna be going in to try and get Drake a memory, but in we go back to the Gemini. Uh, it's nice to be on a ship that I can feel comfortable getting rid of that. Upgrade a card, two random cards of type A. Interesting. Time to learn how to use Admin Deploy A properly, I guess. Basic Block A. I mean, we got a pretty aggressive starting deck. And by pretty, I mean, like, oh my god, it's a very aggressive starting deck. <laughs> Lunge we can try and use to get out of the way. EMP Slug, of course, we can use kind of quasi-defensively. But, yeah. Here we go again. Rise and shine, baby. Don't you ever get tired? Don't you ever sleep? Eh, sort of. Every five milliseconds, I pause my core loop and run core code to recover unused memory. During this time, I cease to exist as a conscious entity. So you die and are reborn 200 times per second? Yeah. What's it like to be dead? I don't know. If anything cool happens, it must take longer than five milliseconds. I see. Okay. The fact that we have this shield to kind of like juggle stuff back already is kind of nice. We'll get rid of the Corrupted Core since it's turn one. Also, you, yeah, you take time to, um, oh boy. Oh boy. This is going to be weird. I don't have the movement here. Do I want to... I don't think I want to exhaust lunge, basically. That's all that would really be for, is getting rid of it. EMP slug, absolutely perfect. And thank God, too, because <laughs> I didn't really have much of a choice otherwise. Bonk, bonk. Alright, here's the thing. If I can't kill... If I can't get through three damage... I can't get through three damage. You're out of your mind. Screw it. Do I just stay here? I just stay here so I don't have to waste anything on movement? Okay. Good deal. Power play. Add a damage to all attacks, but lose one hull. It's pretty metal. I could get power play B, and I could get the free exhaust. I mean, that's the way to use Ab and Deploy B. It's basically like, I hope I get lucky, is what that's sort of about. But let's do it. Sure. Sure, why not? I do think I want to upgrade it so it doesn't lose me hull. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. Interesting. One, two. Huh. I guess I'll go down here and get the relics earlier, I suppose. I guess we could do this. Like, if I want to play it, I might as well do that there. Um, but now we're kind of just, like, sitting here and hoping. Because <laughs> we have to pop that, otherwise we... Well, have to pop that's a bit of a strong word, but... Probably a good idea to pop it. So we're gonna just try and trade... The goal is, like, try and trade one hull for, like, the easiest win of my life is the... That's the hope. Okay. Play your left card and then exhaust it. You know what? Sure. Reroll genuinely helped there in flipping that. That's, I guess, what we got to keep in mind. Go 
Good deal. Wild stuff. Uh, another multi shot. I mean, if we're going for power upgrades, multi shot's good, but we're gonna. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eunice, Cleo. Let's go for the upgrade. We need to get this uh, to be the three cost that doesn't remove health. Okay. Just fire off stuff just for fun there. A little wacky. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's... Oh, that's not good at all. This just sucks. <laughs> this just... What a weird deck we have here. I can't even move, man. Oh no. All right. In for a penny, in for a pound. Send it. Let's trim that down. We gotta get some aggro stuff going. Yeah, we need like more, we need more of something defensive for sure. Because this is, this is just the most unhinged, aggressive setup we have here. Uh, whenever this ship attacks, it gains a temporary shield. Decrease at the end of the turn. That's a way to be aggressive while being def like defensive while being aggressive. So energy in the first turn. You gain an energy every time you spend three energy playing a card. That's... Oh, God. That's another way to get the three mana card played without relying on as much luck. This is the guy who moves to the side. Want to, I just want to see that. Yeah, okay. That's indeed how it works. That makes sense. Moves to the right. Not much to really do about it without more movement. I don't know if power play is the call here. when I think we just try and... Oh, you're still not moving. Okay. Glad we have that extra movement. Why do I feel like this works? We move to, we fire. Because it does. Okay, I figured it did. I just... Good God, we've been playing with so much fire. Faint. Move to the left to... What's the upgrade? Move to the left to get two temp shield. Sure. Like, I obviously need something. Two evade on the first turn is going to go so far for me. It's not even funny. Uh, power play for free sounds great. Spend one of eight to avoid one damage. It's not crazy. Okay, there's a temp shield. I want to move just because I want more damage, not because I'm worried about the damage incoming. All right, I like this. This is a very uh, scary <laughs> run. 
but it can get us where we need to go. Whenever you move, you move one further. Lose it at the end of your turn and retain. I mean, retain plus admin deploy A means, like, you will get to play this for free if you would like. I don't know. That's not always good. Cool. We might be able to blast you. trying to do it cute. I was trying to do it cute. I messed it up for myself there. It's a lot of trash. We can't kill, so let's not take uh, a hit because I, I don't know if you're, you know, watching at home, you might realize that that's probably a kill on me. <laughs> And by probably, I mean it is for sure. What do we got? How much trash? We should be able to kill. Easy. Okay. All right. We made it. Add a wave beam to your hand. I mean, it does sound good. Faint. Another faint. Two temp shield. Add a temp worm to your discard pile. Has retain. Worm to your hands. These are good cards. If I took anything, it would be faint. Because my deck is obviously like strayed aggro. I hate it. That's never that's never good, but we kind of knew what we were getting into. When we uh, when we made our wild damage choice, bonk. Yeah, I think faint is uh, going to be a very helpful thing for us. Is it worth it? Two damage. Yeah, I think we need to keep up pressure. Finally. That lined up really well. Loving, yeah, loving faint for this. Really, really happy with the choice to get two of them. The fact that that costs two is going to be a problem for us. Upgrading lunge might be a good call. Because upgrading it to the uh, the one where you can flip. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Do we move or do we take a shield hit? Let's take a shield hit. Because he's not going to leave our, you know, our position then. Okay. Bring her in. Yeah. All right. We, we fixed this. We fixed this. I don't want to have any more runs where we get down to one health, please, in the, uh, you know, this... What the hell is table flip? All cards with flippable actions, such as move, are flippable for the rest of combat. And then move right. Flippable. Attack for your missing hull. Obviously good, but... Yeah, I think we do that, and then we don't have to even, um... Then we can just make uh, lunge B instead. Yeah. 
yeah, that's that's fun. Start of combat, gain a power drive. On the second turn of combat, your enemy also gets a power drive. Gain an extra energy every turn, but non-parry attack cards do one less damage. I... Oh, simplicity's great, but power diversion, I think we have to. We just have so many good parry damage cards already. And we can lean into the multi-strike of lunge. We can get the flip card. All right, we're, we're starting to get something. All non-parry uh, attack cards do one less. Yeah, this is good. So we'll just swap out of EMP slug, basically. Does that include basic shot? I guess it probably does, though. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I always sub out of that anyways. It's absolutely worth it for the extra energy. It's not even funny. Even if the basic one... Yeah, okay. So we obviously have to get rid of basic shots. But that is honestly not a problem. That is something I'd like to do anyways. a lot of damage. I can't um, not get hit there anyways. Just don't take that right to the center. Zoop. Yeah, an extra energy goes crazy. It's it's a big deal. We just need so much removal now, it's not even funny. Gain two energy, energy next turn. It's not bad. Move for your heat, it's not bad. Yeah, he does perfectly, please. Okay. Remove the basic shots. Now we want to get simplicity uh, offered to us again. I I could try and fish for that from here, or, or like maybe getting a removal event. So we got one, two. One, two, three, one, two. I think we try and fish for simplicity, which is bold. Here's the thing, we have to move out of the way of the missile bay next turn anyways. We can still play that to basically just flip stuff. Huh. A little weird, but little weird but good we got such a thick deck right now it's unreal sure yeah the table flip definitely interesting Admin deploy. Glad we got that going, at least. God, I'm loving the table flip. Of all the things, it, this is just feeling, it's just feeling like a nice, clean run. That's what it is. Did I put myself right in line of it? Nah. We got the temp shield for this. We we fixed it from a... I wouldn't call it a tailspin. But we definitely fixed things up. And made took this from a run that was risky to a run that's just, like, really good. 
if this was uh, lunge B already, I would take it in a heartbeat. All right, fishing for hopefully simplicity. Do I take another heat? I don't think I'd take a heat. It sucks. Solar Flare, my hated. We'll probably take some hull damage. Oh, we don't have the we don't have the flip on yet. I do want a heat sink for sure. But then, yeah, the question is what I do after that. Faint has to move us this way, so I think we go bonk, bonk. We take the... We take the one shield loss instead of spending two movement. God, the least you could do, man. Thank you. Should have flipped that. But yeah, we're going to lose hull due to solar flare. Just kind of by default. Yeah. The good news is we can EMP slug and it doesn't matter. I take this one hull damage anyways. There's literally no choice I have in the matter. Moving one space to the right, probably the call. Yeah, the big thing is killing before another solar flare happens here. You dirty devil. Wait a minute. I thought I had an extra movement. That's on me. That's just a big old whoops. That's all that is. Holy crap. That just was bad. I thought we had one more movement, we'd be completely fine. Uh, return an exhausted card to your hands. Yeah. It'd be for power play. When at three plus heat, you're taxing an extra damage, extra max haul and heal. Yeah, we, we need that apparently. I just, just don't be a ding dong and we'll be fine. Already not good. I want to put that out there. We have the extra movement, which is certainly helpful. We're already good. Just slow it down, man. Slow it down. Abyssal Visions, hoping for the uh, the freebie mostly. Just trying to think. There's no way I can get. If I could flip this for free, it'd be something. I'm going to regret that, I think, but... Oh, maybe not. Kind of might as well play everything here. Move in the correct direction. Yep. Can you use faint to just get out of here? Or lunge to get out of here? It's a bit sad that I can't use it more aggressively, but...
Not taking damage is also not sad. God, there's so many Abyssal Visions. We're going to have a problem. More. That was the dream. That was the dream right there. Okay, how much health do you have? <laughs> okay. God, I need a I need some more zero costs. I need to get basic dodge to be a zero cost. That'd be helpful. Is it worth it? Is it worth it to use my last movement? It is if I draw damage. All right, we're fine, right? God, why does it have to be two movement? Okay, we're fine. We we have it exact. We also, if we could have played that differently and just gotten out with two feints instead. Cool. Overpower is obviously interesting, kind of expensive. I don't think I need another lunge. Serenity. I mean, I wish I had it for that one fight, the heat fight. You end your turn with more than zero energy. Gain a shield. Gain temp shield equal to your missing hull. It's very relevant right now. Heat can be reduced to minus three. Whatever, sure. He who welcome to my emporium. Wondrous ideas travel. And may I offer you one of my creations? They seem absolutely useless. Perhaps they are. Perhaps they are. Lightning in a bottle. I can get a net gain of one energy. Buckshots is unfortunately going to be messed up by uh, this. We'd have to get two power upgrades for Buckshot to be anything, I think. Do I have the extra healing from healing stuff? I don't think so. No. So then, no. None of this. Oh, farewell. Thanks, I guess. Oh, boy. Starting with power play is good. Getting table flip going as well. Like, starting out and having both of those Giga Blasters done. Minus energy on draw. If we get hit by that, we obviously, yeah, we have to deal with that. Oh, well. Stun you up. Let's get rid of it. Little yikes. Should get it back in the pool. It allows us to get a free lunge. I mean, free. Uh, a lunge off. I actually think we'll we'll take this. I know it's a minus energy on draw. It's, it's annoying, but... We pop them. And they give us something to do for free there, which is kind of nice. we okay good <laughs> that shot we need to get that upgraded too we just have so much that we have to do endless magazines gain a chip shot at the start of every turn which very good but also obvious we have obvious problems with this 
our deck is just, it's getting, like, we have too many setup things that are too expensive. It's kind of the whole kit and the whole caboodle here. Okay. Wild. Do we play towards these shields? We can stop this with a, a zero power shot, which is kind of nice. This is going to have to hurt, which is... A little stanky. Uh, we're in a better spot here because we know that there's a missile coming. So I'd rather take the one hit here. Stay in between these missiles. Um, of course. So moving to the right two. This is fine. This is fine. Now here's all of our setup cards at the end of our deck. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. About that one health thing I said, can we stop it? Why are these runs getting harder? What's going on? Okay, so we can already do like a basic block. back to the deck before that goes away, basically. Okay. Just want the option of drawing it again. The wing is hittable. dodge, get a little bit of exhaust. Get down the night. We have the temp shield to uh, to block a hull hit here. I can't do the power play right now, I don't think. I mean, I could. Would I, this is basically would I rather be two spaces to the right? Because it's going to basically be the same. And I think the answer is yes. I think I'd rather be in this position. There's endless magazines. All right, we are good. I think we've got it. It's just uh, too too much. Are we going the right way? Yes. Minus heat. 
Sure. Freebie. Alright. Good God. Uh, can we have a non-stressful run here? Don't need a table flip. No, that's... Yeah. Two extra cards every turn. You're offered one less card in post-battle rewards, and you have to take it. Uh, your left cannon does plus one damage. Your right cannon stuns, but does one less. Interesting. Gain one of two common artifacts, one of two common artifacts, one of two common artifacts. I think it's... And then we get the Genesis Canister. It's worth it for one reason. And I don't know if we'll get it. Every fifth time you attack, evade. We actually need that. Well, your hull is under half its max. Drake's cards do more. After your first attack, after your first attack, all is done. I was looking for the removal. You know it. I know it's a common artifact, and we had three choices of it. I was hoping we would find Singularity. Okay, after that fight, it's nice to just have that dropped right on my lap. Thank you. Hmm. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Because the greed is right here, baby. Alright. We're getting rid of those canisters. They're almost done. So the good news is we can go bang. And then guess what? This is a stun as well. We just have too many expensive cards. And I kind of, you know, we knew that. That's not like... Not surprised by that. I forgot we don't have the upgrade to faint or the flip on faint yet. That's going to catch us later. Okay, we got rid of all of our canisters in the first fight. It only cost us a little bit of HP. Not good. It's not good no matter what. But we can actually... We actually full block that. We got a lot of temp shields. For the love of God. We actually have Bonk, followed by a Bonk. Gemini with the stun on second shot is actually really cute. <laughs> Six coming in. Nothing I can do about it. We'll take one hull. Two energy left to play if I do that. So if I do this... We attack there. We stun here. Could we have power played? Can we still power play? Yeah, we could have power played. But it's also like... Is that the right call? We would have done a little bit more damage. Uh, I'm ready for that to be exhausted. It's okay. Alright. Wacky stuff. Good things. System security is not bad. 
go for the removal? Or we go for the event? Let's go for the event. Detecting a minefield up ahead. Oh, wow, with a lot of exploded ships inside. Let's stop and look for cool stuff. We'll probably barely explode at all. There's three HP to gain one of three artifacts. <laughs> gain a boost. One to the next status effect. Um, chip shot is a status effect. Uh, power drive is a status effect. Those are definitely good. Choose a card with exhaust in your deck that no longer exhausts. That on power play is really good, too. Forever, it says. So that means I can't play it for free, but if I remove it forever, that seems like a big deal. Multiple endless magazines also seems like a pretty big deal. It's also cheaper, also generates more stun, also does not take up hand size. Or it might. It, it probably fills up hand size, so there's probably a limit. There's a soft limit, I bet. I mean, cloud save in and of itself is also good but power play being at three is interesting i'll do it because it's interesting oh nice let's get out of here that um definitely is going to be weird for us our final basic shot it's not that it's bad because it can obviously generate a stun you're moving left Love that. Nice clean setup. We get the tiny little daggers that we get to throw out now, too. Yeah, the on attack gain shield thing, I think it can be really interesting for us. Just using this as a way to like freely swap is also good. Do we have a lunge? We don't have lunge. I thought this was lunge, that's heat sink. Alright, slow it down. That's the sign. Go for prep then. He's gonna. Oof. Power play. We have three movement. I feel like the stun's gotta be helpful here. Huh. It's a lot of movement to... Or we could admin deploy lunge. Just to prove that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and not necessarily because it's good <laughs> to do. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't want to let that happen to me. Just make him walk a long way. That's basically the whole thing there. Uh, return an exhausted card. To your hands. <laughs> Should I? Should I? Why? Let's see. So where do you go? You go here. Good. Yeah, we multi-shot. We set up with another endless magazine. An Endlesser magazine. Just doing all this just because just we can. That's some, that's some dumb scaling. That is some dumb scaling. Escalate. Obviously is a thing. But 
We we need to keep our deck trim right now. An event could help with that. We could get lucky at the at the elites. Okay, so we actually can't stun uh this enemy sometimes. Basically, there's going to be some spots that I can't do anything about. Can stop you there. I actually could lunge, but I'd rather just trim the deck. Oh. Well, screweth thine self. What's the status? Engine lock? Burn? What is the status? Energy? If it locks me in place, I don't know. Okay, so this is dunnable. We just kind of got screwed over there. There's not much else to it there. Pop ya. Well, we want the endless magazines, or it's gonna be nice to get the. I think it's gonna be nice to get the uh, the free zero costs, as opposed to an expensive zero cost. I don't know. Not much movement here. Can you stop the wings from opening? Would you want to? You can. Oh, shoot. I didn't think we were going to need those shields. I mean, I guess we don't, but... Okay, so that's that's heat. All right. That good lesson learned. That's heat. That is a guaranteed hit. In a weird way, if we do this, we can get away with a power play, which feels too greedy to be true, but it's it's not. We take the heat damage because there's nothing I, I, I can't do anything about it. Like, I can reduce my heat by one, but my max heat is... I didn't get the thing where my max heat is four. I think it was offered to me, but I don't think I took it. Correct. All right. You're unreal. Okay. Pop. Pop. All right. We need to clean this up. Temp copy of your life most good. We could do some dumb stuff with that. Uh, we could do some dumb stuff with that. Energy every third turn. No problem with that. We have a turn to prep here, so we're going to try and do that. Oh my god. I hate you. I actually hate you. So, he, um... He gets up and fires next turn, but he starts firing. If I, if I attacked him right there, he would have started firing immediately. So that's exhausted, so we'll have to bring it back in a different way. Bad. Bad. Wrong direction. Would we have actually gotten away? Because the, there's the wall there anyways. We have... Okay, so we have movement. Return an exhausted card to your hand. I think we can't afford to do that right now. We 
We actually can just, um, ignore everything. And just generate so much shield via this that I don't really care. I do like that. That's a fun way of doing it. Alright, so we have how much movement? We have two. Good, that's what we need. We re-roll. We can hit you with the stun there. We... Are, do we have any heat? No, but we could just, um... Do this anyways, and we pop you with the chip shots. We're good. We should actually be able to kill, right? Yeah. Bye-bye. It's... We've got a really good ramp. It's just unsurprisingly difficult. <laughs> How many... I have one fight left. I have... Heal for one or shoot an incoming missile, turn it around instead of destroying it. Here's the thing. Ricochet paddle might be bad for us. We might want, with the multi-strikes, to attack it, kill it, and then attack the next thing behind it. So I might actually take Nanofiber Hall just because the Ricochet Paddle could be actively harmful. I'm gonna exhaust that. If I really regret it, I can find a way to get back. How do we want to do this? I think that direction. You dirty devil. Do it to get out. Do we take the one hull? Is it worse than what we're gonna get next turn? I'm taking. Well, I can keep the two armor. I don't know that it's necessary. Oh, it's gonna be. Yeah, it's better. All right. I have no movement, so it's not a good idea. Just, just be boring. Just be boring. I don't really want the protection of these rocks because it's not that, it's not really that much protection, really. We got a problem here. I have no movement. I have I have movement. Okay. I got movement from my oh, thank you. There's no reason to help him out there. So we can do this. We can chip shot just to get rid of it so that we can admin deploy, get rid of the corrupted core for free. We actually block all of that. That's un unhinged. Uh, just accept it. Don't like getting both of my feints at the same time.
This is the one that's good. We like we like to see that. And we stun. We get an extra movement for later and we don't greed. We say, I will not greed and just do it. And what's the other option? I kill a rock? I don't need to do that. All right, so we save the one movement here. That should help. Okay, lunge, good. All right, that was wacky, but we had it. Heat sink, not bad. Math max, not bad. All right, we did it against all odds. So, repairing seven hull feels like the answer, because that basically saying that lets me go through one round of setup. Because what's the problem with the deck? A lot, too much of this. And a couple too many, just a couple too many of, like, these. So. Let's go for the repair. We'll try and do more setup that way. We'll try and not exhaust. I'll, I'll try and go the route of not exhausting my, uh, my big boy blast. It's so hard to not. I, like, I don't have uh, safety. If I want to spend all three of my movements, I could EMP slug this, multi-shot that. Uh, we'll meet in the middle. Didn't exhaust any cards. Do we... I might... I might get rid of this on purpose. No, because then we can get two endless magazines and it's really funny. Don't have the table flip. We have enough shielding already. We get rid of this for safety then. All right. That's a lot of trash. It's a lot of movement. I mean, I'll take the one hull. It's okay. I was expecting more hull damage on my first loop through, for sure. There's no reason to, other than, like, just to prove that I know that I can, I guess. I'd rather save the movement. I'd, I'd rather lose one shield. It's not worth it. Okay. Now we're talking, though. Now we're talking. Now we got the stuns and everything going on. It's it's all ogre for you, man. Should I do this first? No. But I kind of wanted... I, you know what? We've won enough. Shoot first questions later. All right, that doesn't hold wa uh, too much water, does it? <laughs> shoot, yeah, shoot first questions later. I mean, I'll, I'm taking not a whole lot. 
but still. Is it smart? No. I legitimately am going to return table flip to my hand just to do this. That's where I'm at right now. Okay. I did not expect that my second loop would be scarier, but I guess that's the trash for you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I had, if I had ex cards that exhaust are free, if I had that business, that'd be so unhinged. What is health if not a resource, right? It doesn't really matter. He, we definitely have him. If we, if we, if we don't draw any, I was gonna say it should be impossible for us to draw, not draw an attack. But it actually wasn't. But we had the nice little chip shot. Let's have this be an even stronger chip shot. Dang, man, that run was teetering on the edge. That was a nice, like, I'm not gonna say it was glass cannon run. Who shall it be this time? Uh, we needed Drake, right? It's not glass cannon. It it was until I got the um the double uh not dodge, but you know, move to gain a temp shield. In case I need to shoot anything. What a stupid question. Was that why'd you bring a gun? You're my least favorite. If you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen. You are in my kitchen. Oh my god. T minus fourteen days. Hey Riggs, long time no see. Hey, uh, yeah. How'd you find me? Don't worry about that. I heard you got a real job. Yeah, I fly a light freighter. Make deliveries to and from some kind of science vessel. Don't really know what they're doing there. I do. They're testing some kind of advanced hyperdrive. Oh, how do you know that? Been asking around, watching traffic logs. The hardware and materials heading there are high-tech stuff. Rumor is, in their reactor core, they got some kind of time crystal. Wow. Uh, what's the time crystal? It's worth enough for both of us to retire for about a thousand times over. Interesting. Look, Riggs, I know you said you wanted out of the game, but if we pulled this off, it could be the last... I'm in! Oh, I had a whole pep talk for you. Don't bother, what's the plan? <laughs> I love that, like, just a full-on full gun there. Uh, wow. Jeez, this run and the run before that... These have been two way too close call runs. Like, it is actually crazy. Uh, oh my lord. So we have, is it Codex Progress? Logbook. So we got, which one done? So yeah, what? how's it looking now? It's looking a bit better, a little bit more even. Uh, we still, you know, we got still got a little bit more favoritism, unsurprisingly, with Riggs, who I, you know, got the seven wins. Riggs. I guess should we look at the runs or the wins? Probably the, probably the wins. Oh, that makes so much sense. That's why. So Max and Perry wouldn't have been so low. It's the. F oh wait, no, no. What's your excuse? You weren't on the loss. Max, Drake, Dizzy. That was the shopkeeper run. I don't know, man. I don't know what their excuse is. Their excuse is I didn't pick them. Alas, alas, that is that. This is going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Rogue likes and more every single day. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you got to be known in the form of a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue. I'm in a time loop myself. Rogue likes and more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.